All right guys, so this is an old 40 horsepower Westinghouse electric motor. It's obviously not in good condition and doesn't work anymore, so we're gonna go through the steps of rebuilding this thing. We have to cut the one end off and then put this thing through a burn off oven, so we'll burn this at about 700 degrees for about eight hours. After that's burned all the insulation and varnish off of these wires, we can remove them pretty easy and we can identify our connection by pulling all of these back and seeing where all these jumpers go and where all of our leads are connected. This motor specifically is a 720 RPM motor. After we've carefully removed all of the copper winding that was in it and made a mess over kind of on the right side of the screen here, now we can go ahead and start prepping this thing so we can put a new winding back in it. In case you were curious, minus the end that we already cut off of this, we got about 48 pounds, probably about 60 pounds total worth of copper wire inside here. After it's been sandblasted, we're gonna spray this thing with a white enamel paint. And this isn't just any regular paint. This is rated electrically, but it also gives us a good contrast to make sure we're not slipping wires behind the paper. We're gonna have a ground fault. This paint also helps as rust protection for us as well. But once this paint has all dried, we're gonna cut 72 individual pieces of Nomex paper and we'll put that in those slots and then we can make a test coil to make sure the coils we are going to make are going to fit. I did change the shape of the coil from a round nose coil to a diamond shaped coil. And this actually is gonna save us some copper. We're probably about 10 hours into this job. We got the entire winding in, we got the one end tied. Now we're gonna to have to make our 72 connections on the other end, and then we're also going to epoxy or encapsulate this winding. Basically to keep it safe from dirt and debris. Cheers.